Hi, I'm Gene Cavassas. This is the second part of a two-part series on building Kylo Ren's lightsaber. In the first one, I showed you how to build the hilt using mostly PVC pipe and painting it to look like the battle worn. Now, in this part, I'm going to show you how to build the blade, how to light this with LED lighting using a polycarbonate tube and then even roughing up the tube or scoring the tube to give it that unstable look, putting a switch in it, the whole thing. So stay tuned. We're going to start out with the polycarbonate tube. Now you're going to want to cut this down. to 33 inches. Besides cutting the polycarbonate tubing to 33 inches, I'm also going to cut two 3 quarter inch grooves in the side. This is going to allow the LED lighting to pass through on the cross guards. Once I have that filed down, it's a good snug fit getting it into the hilt and then making sure I turn that there is room for that to get through the LEDs. Making sure that the on off switch fits in there. Now I need to determine how long to make these cross guard pieces. Looking at the photo I decided probably about six inches should be suitable. Now setting these in here, they're not as tight of a fit, so I'm going to need to shore those fits up a little bit. I'm going to use gaffer's tape, but you could use just about any kind of tape, whether it's duct tape or even electrician's tape. I like the gaffers because it's easy to tear and it has more of a porous surface to it and I think that'll grip easier. Once I have that on, make sure they fit snug. I'm still going to put some machine screws up through the bottom of the cross guards just to secure that on there. Okay, the LED lights come in a uh, sealed package and I'm going to quickly test these out to make sure that they work okay. So here's the on and off switch. It has three lugs and here is a pack of 9 volt battery connectors. And then using some alligator wire clips I'm going to test this out. So by taking the black or negative side of the battery I'm going to connect that to the brass lug on the switch. And then I'll connect to the positive side of the battery or the red wire and I'm going to connect that to the middle lug of the switch or what I guess would be the neutral lug. So now going to the LED lights I'm going to take the red wire and connect that to the end lug and then connect it up to the LED red And now take the negative or the black line and I'm going to connect that back to the black line or the negative line to the battery. I wanted to show you this so it would be easier when we're putting it together. Check it out. Looks like it works great. I always knew this old computer paper would come in handy. I'm going to trace around the lightsaber so that I have a basic pattern that will be easier for me to measure the total length of the LED material that I'm going to be using. 
think I want to get a good indication too of where the switch will be and the location of the battery. Now with the LED I'm going to want to run that all the way up through the lightsaber and then fold it over on itself and come back down doubling it up. So I'll mark at the center and then peel away the backing. This has got a self-adhesive backing so I'm sticking it back down against itself. Peeling the backing off till you get to the end and then you can trim it off. They sell a product they call Shark Bite. This is a water tubing. Uh, they sell it at Lowe's and the big box stores and the product brand is called Shark Bite. And I use this inside the polycarbonate tube to diffuse the LED lights. But I came across, and I used this in the last lightsaber built, but I came across red shark bite. They also sell it in blue, so if you're doing a, a blue lightsaber, that may be a great way to go. But this can be cut very easily. The uh, LED lights will fit down in it, and then you can fit that inside the polycarbonate tube, the larger tube, or even the smaller one tube that you're going to use on the sides. It's a tight fit, but it does fit. Now, fishing the wire down through the polycarbonate, I've already fed it up through the red shark bite, so using a, a piece of solid strand wire, I fish that down through the hilt. I had a little difficulty getting this to slide down because the LED is almost a rubber tubing or rubberized so I wrapped it up in a, a grocery bag and that helped make it slick enough to pull it through. Taking off the battery cover and making sure this way I can get everything through. Using a coping saw just to cut the shark bite for the crossbars. And feeding that through, trimming my wires up, and then I'm going to wire this up the same way that I, I showed early on, but this time I'll be soldering. I'm going to wrap a rag around everything so that any of the um, solder doesn't get onto the lightsaber and burn it. Once everything's on, connect that battery and test it. Oh, it looks like we're good to go. Set the switch on there and replace the, uh, the battery lid. As I had said earlier, I'm going to put some set screws or machine screws in the bottom of this to help lock down the cross blades. Now using a piece of scrap polycarbonate, I traced around the some of the scrap of the polycarbonate tube and I'm going to cut these circles out and glue them to the ends of the uh, polycarbonate tubing. Using a sander, I'll clean these up. And using some Gorilla Glue uh, Super Glue, I will glue the caps. Now the cross guards, they fit on the outside. And then after that set, I just come back and using the sander, wrap these around and give them a good smooth sanding to round these up. I'm going to use the same soldering gun and I'm going to start scoring with heat scratch marks or heat marks on the polycarbonate. This is not hurting the polycarbonate. It's not. It's only putting uh, some melting marks in it and gives it a very cool unstable effect.
Hey, thanks a lot for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed building it and that you give it a try. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section down below. I'll try to get back with you. Also, please consider subscribing and click that little bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon.